What's up, YouTube fam? Aladdin was directed by Guy Ritchie and stars Will Smith, Mino Masao, Naomi Scott, and Moran Kanzari. And it follows a kind-hearted street thief who comes across a magical lamp from which a genie resides. Meanwhile, a power-hungry vizier stops at nothing to steal the lamp for himself and uses it to become the most powerful sorcerer in the world. First of all, let me just say, this is one of my all-time favorite children's movie from when I was a kid growing up. This might be what actually started me on movies. So when I heard that they were making a live-action version, which I was waiting for because they came out with Beauty and the Beast, they came out with Cinderella, and they came out with all these other Disney projects, and I was wondering to myself, when is Aladdin coming out? Most of y'all know I'm not much of a Disney person, but when it comes to this or anything Marvel or Pirates of the Caribbean, yes. But those aren't actual cartoon movies. This one kind of is, but this is the remake to the 1992 classic, which I grew up on. So you can bet your butt that I was really excited looking forward to this and knowing that they were actually coming out with it. Let's get this boosted with the positives, y'all. Will Smith plays the genie in this. And I gotta say, when I looked at the first trailer, and a lot of y'all could agree with me on this, it just wasn't that impressive. <laughs> You really don't know who I am. Genie, wishes, lamp, none of that ringing a bell. But when I watched this film, I actually enjoyed his character. He brought such homage to Robin Williams while at the same time making it his own. And I thought he did a really good job on it. Will Smith has actually said that he was so scared to play this part because he did not want to disrespect Robin Williams in any way because Robin Williams made that part. And guys, in advance, I'm sorry, there's no way I can do this review without comparing it to the original. So I apologize in advance on that. But Will Smith, he did a really good genie. I, I thought he brought a lot of pizzazz. He had the same characterization that Robin Williams brought to the character. My expectations was pretty high after walking out of the theater. Besides, I always liked Will Smith. He has that characterization to him that he's a kid trapped in a man's body. If there's one thing we learned from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, it's just that. And that's what he brought to this character. I like the way Mina Masao played Aladdin. Now, I've been hearing a lot of complaints from other critics that they didn't quite get with how they how he portrayed the character. I don't know what movie they were watching, but I thought he captured the character just perfectly. I saw a lot of what was in the cartoon version and the role that he played in this film. And it really did take me back. He just captured the quick wit, the caring, the soft heart, and the hopeless romantic in a way that the original brought. <laughs> And he did a really good job on that. I gotta, I gotta give him a, a nomination for that. I hope he does get a nomination for this film. Is that pushing it too much? Sorry. <laughs> Naomi Scott plays Jasmine, and I gotta tell you, wow. For all the guys out there who just want something to look at, something pretty to look at, you got it in this film. She is a knockout. And like with the original, she brings that, I can take care of myself, I want to voice my opinions. And there was like several songs that she sang that wasn't actually in the original. She brought more of the originality to this film than anything else. Not that I'm complaining. A lot of the songs was from the original, which was good. They, they have to keep that up. You, you just have to. But she's the only one that actually brought... I think it was two original songs. It may have been one, I don't know. It was in two separate parts that she sang. But she sang an original song, and I thought she did a really good job on it. But she just captured Jasmine just perfectly. Fiery beauty, strength, and knowledge, all of that. And Abu, Aladdin's sidekick, was pretty cute too. And as I said with the music, the score and the music was just done fantastically. Like I said, Naomi, Naomi Scott just sang those original songs. But all the others, I was singing along with it. 
because I knew just about every word to those songs. That was from the original. Will Smith, he did. He never had a friend like me, which was pretty good. I, I like the way he sang it. I don't think that man could do any wrong, honestly. It was very lifting. It lifted my spirits up, that's for sure. I felt like I was in my own body at eight years old. Yeah. The cinematography and the lighting was just beautiful. It was captured in such a way that just moves you. Not just with the music and the acting. It just moves you. And last but not least, and I hate discussing this part of a film, if there's any in my opinion, but the negatives. And now this one was a real downer for me. My favorite character in the original was Jafar, the evil sorcerer. When I was young, I dressed up like him for Halloween. There was a time where I was trying to find that damn snake staff. No one had it. I couldn't find a 3D snake staff like he had in the movie to save my life. But luckily, my nana, may she rest in peace, she made me one of those wooden sticks. It was like yay high, but she drew in a snake face. It wasn't 3D, but it was good enough. I still wish I had that. I have no idea what happened to it. For all I know, it probably got thrown away. And the costume too, although I might be a little too big to fit in it, but yeah. That's one thing I was obsessed over. I wanted that snake staff. Could never find one. Noran Kanzari, I just couldn't get behind the way he was playing in Jafar. They really could have cast somebody a little older. To me, he just wasn't menacing. The costumes and everything was done right to a certain extent, especially for a remake, a live action of that. But I just didn't buy into his menacing qualities. That goes without saying, but he did try. I did chill up a little bit in some parts, but probably that was probably like 3 or 5% of the movie. I just felt like they could have recast him and got somebody older. There was something I read where Sir Patrick Stewart was the one to play him in this. I don't know why it didn't work out, but he actually turned down the part back in 92 for doing the role of Jafar in the original. And he regrets it ever since. Me personally, it might have been a little better, maybe with Patrick Stewart or anybody just a little older. Liam Neeson, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all can just figure that out for yourselves, but I just felt like he was a little miscast as that part. Because like I said, I love that character. That was a big downer for me. It was just a big downer. He just did not live up to expectations, guys. And that was just sad for me because he was one of my favorite villains. Favorite Disney villains. And going back to what I said with the trailer. The reason why I said that, and I'm pretty sure you guys know where I'm going to go with this. The genie's look. It was cheesy. Great one who summons me, I stand by my oath, loyalty to wishes three. And it, it just didn't do anything for me. It, it felt like I was watching something put in at the last second. I just, ugh. And like the whole entire third act, it just looked crumbled. Like the effects team was just shoving so much in your face that it just looked cheesy. It was overly stuffed. But going back to the genie, thankfully he's not blue throughout the whole movie. And you clearly see the, seen that in the trailers. He's not blue throughout the whole movie. You actually get to see Will Smith himself instead of this CGI jumbled up mess. And last but not least, the last of my negatives, the Cave of Wonders. As it showed in the trailer, it, he doesn't move his mouth when he speaks. It's like he, he speaks through his mind. And that was a little bit of a bummer for me, too. Maybe they couldn't have done that the way they did in the original with the tiger's head coming up from the sand. Plus, in the original, it was alone. In this, it's attached to a wall in the desert. Like, one of those big hills. The way they presented the Cave of Wonders in this, it just took away from the mystery of what made the Cave of Wonders the Cave of Wonders in the original. But lucky for us, Frank Wilker, who actually voiced him in the original, did come back. So that was good. Speaking of, 
Iago, he didn't have that much of a big part, but Gilbert Godfrey did the original voice for him and the original. But somebody else took over that part for this. I don't know why, but like I said, he wasn't really that that much in this one. Iago, but yeah, it is what it is. My final thoughts. It is still a fun ride. Despite all the negatives I said, it is still a fun ride. It is one of those fun family films that most people probably won't care that much about the negatives I've just spotted out. It is fun for the whole family. The kids will love it. Aladdin gets a B minus. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share, tell your friends. What did you think of Aladdin? For those of you who've seen it, did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me that comment down below and let me know. What did you think? Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. Peace, Rip.